Much the city of Galveston is under a mandatory evacuation. People are busy packing up their things and headed inland. Channel 2's Taisha Walker just arriving on the island and is joining us now live with the latest information from city and county leaders. Taisha, good afternoon. Andy, good afternoon. You can hear on the loudspeaker right now they are organizing and helping these long lines of folks right behind me try to evacuate the island here and get on the bus. Many of them telling me they had to make the tough decision a short time ago to leave their homes behind and pack their most valued possessions in their bags there. They are getting ready to head on a bus here from the island community center on their way to Austin. These people are taking advantage of uh, the charter buses over to the left here. Uh, Enrique, if you can pan over so they can see there are six charter buses here uh, provided by the state of Texas to help these people evacuate. Some families I spoke to say they fear by staying uh, that they could experience another Ike or what they say could be worse than Ike if they wait out and try to see what uh, Tropical Storm Laura will do. Uh, we know that the buses will be filled to half capacity to allow for social distancing. Everyone on board, I'm told, must wear a mask. The drivers will take the evacuees to a shelter in Austin. That location has not been revealed to the media, but we're told that the drivers will head back here to Galveston on the island to make more rounds to accommodate to make sure that as many people as possible can get to uh, safety in Austin. We know that the county judge spoke a short time ago. He says so far only one person on the peninsula has asked to be evacuated. Take a listen as he describes. From our service that I mentioned a minute ago, we only had one person that I could find so far that was registered in Bolivar wanting assistance for evacuation. So with one person, that's really easy. Uh, if it's a 1,000 people, it's a little more of a logistics challenge, but we will get it done. Uh, to a question yesterday, we also confirmed that our shelter agreement with our location in Austin has got isolated rooms for anyone who's COVID positive. if they can get on the bus, many of them with their pets in hand, their children, just bags, plastic bags, suitcases, whatever they could grab to last them until they don't even know when. Uh, we're told again that the uh, buses will be running throughout the evening to make sure they can accommodate as many people as possible. We'll continue to monitor this and bring you updates throughout the day. For now, reporting live in Galveston, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Taisha, thank you for that update.